I want the acquisitionists focusing their time on talking to pre-screen sellers, right? Um, and then if, if the VA isn't putting, putting up enough closing calls for them, have them go out and start doing some opening calls themselves. And that'll be good anyway, because then, you know, they can understand what the VA is doing for them and maybe appreciate it a little bit more and also be able to provide more direct feedback from the acquisitionists to the VA. And that way you're kind of stepping out in the middle over time, you know, you don't want to just be hands right. off totally from the beginning. Yeah, that's kind of what I was wondering is how, and have him do some of his own open call scripts as well, just for, mm -hmm. you know, I think it's a, a good training for him. And so I kind of wondered about that because the VA, she is, uh, we're probably gonna have to find another one. She misses so many hours that she's just not generating enough. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think probably to give him enough leads. So, um, you know, he could work essentially the same lists and do the open, opening call scripts as well. So I didn't know you know, if that's something that we would encourage or not. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would, uh, you know, maybe to start and it's just like, you know, I tell you guys or, or other people coming into the program when they're brand new and they haven't hired the VA yet, go ahead and start doing some opening calls yourself. Yeah. So we want to put them basically through the same steps that you went through, but maybe we can accelerate a little, accelerate it for a little bit for them. Right. Okay. That makes sense. Cool. I know, uh, I know everybody's skill level and the way they learn and everything is different. So um, being this is our first acquisition, I mean, I remember how, still remember to this day, how difficult it is for me to get through the closing calls correctly and not screw up. So we've been doing this a long time, but like on your acquisitionist, what do you guys think is a, you know, a good time frame to, to give these guys before we're like, hey, you're just not cutting the mustard and we need to look for somebody else? Yeah, I mean, the thing is, is you got to make sure, you know, before you let anybody go, you got to make sure it's not your fault mm -hmm. that they're not performing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, the basic method for training somebody that I think works the best, and I think Jeff has brought this up on a call before, is, you know, have them come on the phone with you and listen to how you do it and come on the deal meeting with you. They can watch you. They observe you taking notes or whatever. And then do that for a handful of times. Then the next few times, you go observe them doing it, right? Whether it's a closing call, a deal meeting, whatever. And then after that, then you let them out on their own and, you know, get immediate feedback right after the appointment or whatever. And uh, listen to the recording and that sort of thing and see how they've done and, and just correct course along the way. But if you've gone through that whole process and they're just not getting it, you know, something might be wrong there, you know, right. maybe you got the wrong person. The, the, the type that I think the main thing you're looking for is they need to enjoy that, mm -hmm. you know, like if they enjoy going out and talking to people on, on closing calls over the phone or the deal meetings and everything else, a lot of other stuff is just going to fall into place and it's, it's going to make your business easier. Yeah. I, I think we'll know. Mm -hmm. I think we'll, I think we'll know pretty quickly. He seems pretty motivated. He's very outgoing. Um, he's not afraid to hear no. He's been in sales for a long time. So I think, I think he'll do good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that's great. Let us know how it goes.